Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how simple and easy it is to maintain and clean the mirror range of lasers from Aeon. One of the big benefits to this range is it's got a constant optic path and everything is simple to get out and clean. So I'm just going to start off by hoovering as you can see in the video. I just hoover all the excess dust off and then we'll get on to the next part. So you can see here that the blade table itself is particularly dusty, so I'm going to individually take them out and give them a wipe. I'm not going to deep clean them at this point because I don't think they're bad enough, but that will come in the uh, near future, no doubt, because it builds up a sticky residue from cutting wood, etc. So now that we've got the blades all cleaned, I'm going to remove the debris from inside the bottom tray here and then hoover it all out and give the rest of the machine a hoover before moving on to the lens. So because of the constant optic path, they've made the system very easy to strip apart and um, clean. So this just pops out, making it dead easy to access to clean the lens. So what I'm using here is just some Q-tips that came with the laser and a bottle of lens cleaner that I already had. Um, and I try and do this at least um, once a day depending on what I'm cutting. If I'm cutting like particularly smoky stuff then I'll maybe try and do it um, sort of halfway through the day as well. It's important to keep the lens clean. Um, the reason for that is it'll stop any build up on the lens and any drops in power from the laser itself. It also stops the build up causing the lens to crack. I'm also just cleaning the glass face of the front there and then grabbing a screwdriver to take out the, the mirror. It's just two screws and two little twist screws with your fingers and pop that first mirror out and then you can give that a clean. You can see it's got a little bit of build up on it, this needs done at least once a week and then once that's cleaned you can just pop that back in then. So what I'm cleaning this now is just the air assist nozzle, I found that it builds up um, with smoke from the laser, um, it's just a bit gummy, quite thick, so it's advisable to clean this because uh, if it blocks up it will A stop the laser beam from coming through and B stop the air getting through and produce one of those clean cuts that you're going to want. So now that the laser head's clean I'm just going to give all the rest of the internals a quick wipe down removing any soot and smoke marks and then move on to the next part. So off camera I put the blades back in because that can be a wee bit time consuming. Not massively, it just, yeah, you don't need to see that on camera do you? Um, now I'm putting the honeycomb bed back in and then we'll move on to cleaning mirror 2 and 3 or depending on which way you work from the tube 1 and 2. So now that we're around the side we use the keys provided with the laser just to open that side panel up and gain access to mirror 1 and 2 and then we can get them cleaned. Gaining access to the mirrors then is dead simple. It's just a simple case of pushing in and twisting and the mirror comes out. The brilliant thing about this is it doesn't disturb the uh, alignment and you can just give it a clean, crack on and put it back in and then you're good to go. No faffing about trying to realign the mirrors after cleaning it. 
which you'll probably find with some of the K40s on the market at the moment. If you've any experience with the K40, you'll know how much of a pain it can be to clean um, and access some of these parts. So all you need to do for mirror one then is repeat exactly what you did for mirror two and then the job's a good one. We'll pop the side back on because that's it. It's as simple as that to clean the mirrors. Now that all the inside's clean and the lenses are clean, the mirrors are clean, I'm just going to give the Perspex glass a final clean over with some glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth just so that the viewing window is nice and spotless so when I'm filming you can see what I'm filming. So in my workshop uh, it gets particularly dusty because I do other types of woodwork and not just laser engraving so I have a nice thick dust sheet that's actually plastic coated on the underside so it keeps out all the dust which ultimately makes maintenance a lot easier. As you can see from this video the Mira red line range is fantastic for maintenance. Please remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.